there is an abandoned house right on the property of the cemetery. But these prints here. Definitely, definitely something going on with this place. There's someone here. There's someone here. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night spooky adventure. Today, I'm here with my friend Angelo and we're gonna be doing a paranormal investigation at the super creepy cemetery. Check this out behind me right here. Today, I am inside of Mount Royal Cemetery, one of the most haunted cemeteries here in Montreal, Canada. Check out Angelo's channel, his link is down below. Smash the like button, don't forget, get yourself some Live A Little merch, guys. I'm wearing the merch. I'm obviously wearing my Live A Little sweater underneath this jacket, it's super duper cold here. I got the Live A Little hats, get them while you can. The link is down below don't forget you can get it on my personal app the most RG app we do have a shop button there now and I'm posting exclusive videos on that app so you might want to download it and one more thing I'm uploading TikToks now yes you heard me right TikToks go follow me on TikTok that's my TikTok account right there don't forget guys limited edition merch go get it down below let's go so not only are we at this creepy cemetery for the night look at how mega the gate is and the entrance to this place it's freaking scary. Wait, does that say 1297? I think that might be the address though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like built in 1297. There's no way. Guys, look at this. It's so big. So the main objective for today's video is to investigate the paranormal. Try to maybe speak to some sort of spirits out here. This place is reportedly to be haunted. It's a really big cemetery, so there is a lot of ground to cover. I can't remember the last time I was at a cemetery in the winter. I don't like the winter at all. It's cold. Well, look at all this. This is creepy. I wonder what all this is. We just made a discovery. There's an abandoned house right on the property of the cemetery. And you know we're gonna go and explore this. We had no idea there's an abandoned house here. Look at this. This is creepy. This might have been an old funeral home. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So you know this is going to be mega haunted. Mm. All right guys, so this has turned from a cemetery video to a haunted house in a cemetery video. I'm inside of the house. Oh. That was just Angelo. We're inside of the house right now. Surprisingly, the door was wide open, which is cool. So we're in the basement right now. Oh, this is creepy. A lot of things have been left behind here. Bro, you know this place is gonna be super haunted. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing these are the stairs that take us upwards. We'll get to that soon. It's super creepy in here. Is it? There's animal poop everywhere. Yeah. It's frozen poop. Whoa, what the hell is this? I have no idea. Look at that. You going in? Creepy ass chair right there. There's not much to see, but. Yeah, it looks like it's collapsed. Mm -hmm. And there's like this weird looking leather chair here left behind from back in the day. Someone's trophies. This is cool. Some trophies left behind. Some cassettes. I feel like this is a time capsule. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys know what this is. Oh, it's tiny here. Oh, yo, someone was living here. Really? Squatter probably. There's a bed. All right, you take left, I go right. So check this out. There's quite a bit left behind in this abandoned house here. What are the odds that we found an abandoned house in a cemetery? Oh my goodness. There's dolls everywhere. There's a bed here. I'm getting some weird pains on my chest the second we came in here. Oh, look at this. So definitely someone that was squatting was living in here at one point. The house looks bigger from the outside though. Mm -hmm. Weird. All right, making my way upstairs. 
Getting some very scary vibes in this place. Oh, look at all the graffiti up here. That's very bizarre. This house looked massive from the outside. Mm -hmm. It literally did. There's definitely evidence of graffiti. Hey, if we need any band-aids, we got band-aids everywhere here. Got some toothpaste. <laughs> Whoa. I'm thinking this was a funeral home at one point uh, in time since this is literally on the property of a cemetery. Could have been a funeral home. So that means a lot of dead went through here. But it was probably also the home of someone that took care of the cemetery at one point. It's been destroyed, it's been graffitied. The house looks massive on the outside. Like here's a clip of it from the outside. It looks massive, but this is basically all there is. There's not much going on in here. I thought it would be bigger, just a couple of rooms. Unless we missed some type of hallway. Hello? Yo, I just felt like a presence standing at the bottom of that staircase. Where? Here. I felt like someone was just standing there waiting for me. Anyone here? But nothing on the K2 meter. Anyone die in here? Is anyone here? Can you uh, make yourself known? Give us a sign, a knock. You know what's creepy? Yeah. The silence in here. Like, yes, it's abandoned, yeah. but it's really creepily it's so silent. Yeah, yeah, it's eerie. So I'm still kind of confused on the fact that this house is massive on the outside and tiny on the inside. Like, there's not much going on. Unless we miss some sort of hallway, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to go and explore and see if there is another part to this house. It could be a two houses in one. So when I was in the basement, I seen a different staircase. Different than this one here that we came up from. The f***? Where did that come from? That was in my pocket. I had it fall out of my pocket. So through this here, I seen another staircase or a ladder. Here it is. There's got to be another way into this house. There's got to be another part to it. Oh my god, there's bicycles everywhere. Look at that. Someone probably stole a bunch of bicycles. Oh, there's poop everywhere. That's fresh too. Oh, it's sealed. Is it? Or there's a secret hatch. Oh, it opens. Yeah, it goes into the other part of the house. Whoa, that's creepy. So I just discovered a secret entrance that's right above me. All right, we gotta be ready to go in there. I don't know what's gonna be waiting for me in there. <laughs> so, let's go. It's heavy. Oh my God. It stinks like animals up there. Does it? Yeah. Okay, be very careful. Oh. So this is the secret hash that we just found. I know, this is cool, right? Look at this, it goes into another part of the house. Look at that, you would never know there's a secret hatch here. Look at this, completely closed off. Let's see what's inside of this house. Oh my God. It's Something, I don't know what it is that I heard. I can't really explain it. There's not much going on in here too. It's pretty much identical to the other side that we were in. This one's a bit more deteriorated though. Let's go upstairs and see what's in there. Whoa. Another empty room. in there just an empty closet in an empty room in a very creepy house the way they made this place it's just freaky man look at this all this rotting away it's freezing cold in here by the way it's so cold in here yeah it's a good thing we went back for our jackets yeah. 
The other place was more graffitied. Look at this secret little closet space here. You would never know that this is a closet. It matches perfectly with the wall. Yo, what the hell is this? Did you see this? What? Look at the bathroom window, or the door. It's a door that goes into a different part of the house. What the f Yeah. That's so weird. I would like to get this open, but... Yeah. Oh. Should we dare to go in and see what's in there? Whoa. So it's a dead end. Okay. It's just like a little space that's literally about to fall. It feels very yeah. unsafe and slanted. I don't think we should both stand in there at the same time. You can go in there and take a look at it, but not while I'm in there too. That's scary. Angela. Angela, come here, quick. There's someone here. What? There's someone here. I just heard somebody walking very slowly down there. You hear that? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Stay very quiet. You heard that, right? You heard that too? Yeah. So it wasn't my mind playing tricks on me? It was right there, dude. Hello, any ghosts in here? Yeah, I opened that. There was nothing in there. there. Nothing in it? But we heard something walking here right now. Legit, it sounded like it was in there. Here, let's open that up. Maybe there is something. Maybe I missed it. Oh, what the hell? No, there's nothing there. Let's just take like one minute of silence and just listen. Hello, any ghosts here? If there's anything here, can you make my K2 meter spike? Your energy will make it spike. No, there's something walking around, but very faint. Yeah, I definitely heard something. Yeah. It just it sounded like something was walking on the wall. Yeah. What? What is that? Here, let me get in front of you. Hello? Anything dead in here? Whatever you are, I think you're a coward. Okay, what do you say if we go back downstairs and listen quietly? Here. I'm gonna keep rolling the camera, guys, because I don't want to risk turning it off and having something happen. Do you hear that? I don't know, I thought I heard like a grunt. Your head's spinning. And Joel's feeling kind of dizzy, and I'm feeling chest pains. There's proper ventilation in here, like, it's not like you can't, we can't breathe in here. And it's cold, so like... This must have been a funeral home, yeah. We should ask the spirit box. So right now we're gonna ask the spirit box um, if this used to be a funeral home at one point in time. And maybe we can get something from the spirit box, so here we go. Was this ever a funeral home? Here it is. It was faint. It was faint. Oh, what was that? Do you have a name if you're a spirit or a demon? Do you have a name?
sure. Return. I'd like to communicate with you. We're here to investigate the paranormal, which is you. Were you the one walking around in the house while we were investigating? Don't be scared of us. Are you a demon? <laughs> witch? Yeah, that sounds like a witch. What kind of a witch are you? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This device that I'm holding, you can communicate with me. You can talk to us. This is your chance to talk. Is there anyone there? What are the odds of somebody calling me from here? Do you have anybody from Montreal? No. <laughs> So the area that we're in, I don't have any friends here or relatives or anyone that I know that lives out here. And I, my phone just got a call from the same area code as the place that we're in. Now, I don't want to show it on the phone because I don't want whoever is calling me to get harassed by a million phone calls. But that's just creepy that it's happening the second I'm using a spirit box. All right guys, so we're done with the spirit box in here. We didn't get too much on the spirit box. You guys let us know if you got anything, um, comment it down below. We're gonna make our way back outside into the cemetery and do a bit more investigating there. Yo, this hatch is literally locked. What? Yeah, this is where the only way in and out. This whole place is boarded. <laughs> Are we literally stuck in here? <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, I think we're locked in. We're actually locked in. <sighs> we're stuck in this house. So, starting to freak out right now because we're trying to figure out how the hell we're gonna get out of here. We cannot open that, um, basically hidden compartment there. That's the only way in and out of this place. The, all the doors are boarded shut, as you guys can see, and they're screwed shut. Come here. to get the hole open. That was fucking scary. I want to add to this place now. This yeah, is bad seriously. omens right here. Like, how does it lock? I don't know. There's I don't, no way for There's it to no lock. lock, I know. Somehow just... And I have to put so much chance. effort into that metal hole. Oh, oh shit. Oh, what the f*** is that? It's like something slammed that on me. Jesus. All right, come on through, bro. Be careful. Oh, man. That was intense. Careful. Watch your head. Watch your head. I think there's no joke. Watch out for the poop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at this behind you. Look at these prints here. Yeah. Well, that's creepy. Definitely. I don't want to spend any more time in this place. Yeah, no, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's creepy in here, man. As you guys can see, we made it back outside. That was kind of bizarre that that hatch wouldn't open. This place is definitely, definitely something going on with this place. What a sense of relief it is to get out of that place. I don't know why. There's just the weirdest vibe. Like it's, it just runs through my bones. And then the fact that we couldn't get out was the scariest part. I thought we were actually gonna have to like smash a window or something. But all the windows are boarded up too. So even smashing a window wouldn't do us any good. But thank God that metal pole was there. So the cemetery that we're in right now, it's notorious for being on a mountain. So the whole trek is upwards and we're obviously doing it on foot. It's kind of dark out here right now. It's cool though, because the cemetery, it literally, it expands way out into the distance. So we're gonna explore it and see what else we can find. You never know, we might find another abandoned house on the property. So we've been walking for quite some time in the cemetery and I think we've reached the area that's all military. They got their own gate here, I think. These are all military people that have died over the years. I'm not 100% sure, but it's possible. Yeah, they have it all gated off. I don't know why they have it gated off. So the people that died here actually died in the Great War in 1914 to 1919. So here's some more information. Some of the people that are buried here, 
died in the Crimean War, in the South African War, in the First World War. Unbelievable. People that are buried here have literally been dead since like the 1910s and 1909. There's a cannon here. These are the type of cannons they used to use in World War I. And I guess they put it here as a memory thing for the soldiers that died. We just came across this weird building. Don't know what it's all about, but we're exploring the grounds here. I'd like to know that there might be actually some like bodies in there maybe. Could be a mausoleum. So we made it to this one area of the cemetery where we're gonna take out the spirit box and see if we can communicate with anything. So here we go. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can read this and what it says. If there's any spirits listening in right now onto this frequency, can you tell us what was following us inside of that house? Was it something evil? What was following us inside of that house? What was making all, the, all that noise? I set the spirit box at the base of this stone over here. Was there anything demonic following us inside of that house? It's like something's trying to break through the frequency. Mm -hmm. Do you hear that? Are you having uh, trouble speaking? Talk to us! It sounds like something verbal is trying to get out, but it's coming out in like some sort of distorted mesh. It's weird. Yeah, so like, there's nothing wrong with the spirit box. What's going on here? I can't even change frequencies. Alright, we got nothing. So we've got an EVP recorder right now. And we're trying to see if we can capture some voices on it. Was there something that was trying to attack us inside of that house? So what, now you just play it back? Yeah, just play it back. It's really simple. If there's anybody that would like to communicate with us, speak into this device. So we've got an EVP recorder right now. And we're trying to see if we can capture some voices on it. Was there something that was trying to attack us inside of that house? Let me try. Let me try. So what I just press record? Just press record, yeah. Demons or spirits? I've got a recording device in my hand. If you want to talk, we can probably hear you on this. Make yourself known. Demons or spirits? I've got a recording device in my hand. If you want to talk, we can probably hear you on this. Make yourself known. Yeah. Worth a try. That thing's cool though. Alright guys, I'm going to conclude this investigation for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Go follow Angelo. Um, he's taking me around. I've never really explored too much of Quebec, so uh, shout out to Angelo. Once again, his link is down below. You can't see him, it's kind of dark. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get yourself some Live A Little merch. Get yourself some Live A Little hats, some hoodies, some t-shirts. And right now, we got some Thanksgiving merch. It's a limited supply, so get it while you can. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little. And don't forget, guys, I'm making TikToks now, so follow me on TikTok.